This is an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar on advanced compression tips for Apple Compressor 4. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to change frame rates from 24 to 30 or from 30 to 24. Well, let's say that we need to change frame rate. And here, I have something else to illustrate. I'm going to use the arrow keys and navigate. We're on frame, well, let's see, this is frame 0. So frame 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Notice how it lines up perfectly with the 5. We're looking at interlacing. That's why there's two white lines. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then we're back to frame 0, frame 1, etc. again. Okay? I want to convert that 24 frame a second video up to 2997. Well, let's take a look. Here's that 2997 movie. Same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 5, 26, 27, 28, 29, and we're back to home again. So I've got two different movies. I want to take 23 up to 29. I want to take 2997 down to 24. Compressor will do both, but here's a really important rule. It is far better to take something slow and make it faster than to take something fast and make it slower. 24 going to 2997 will always look better than 2997 going down to 24. Shooting 60 going to 30, piece of cake looks gorgeous. 50 going to 25, piece of cake looks gorgeous because they are evenly divided by two. But here, there's no even multiple. What has to happen is your, mov your movement gets jerky. And it always looks bad when you go from a faster frame rate to a slower frame rate. Let's open our 24 frame movie. So we'll say, there's our movie. Open that up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to Take this up. I'm going to again use ProRes. You could use anything. But here's how you change the frame rate. Select the compression. Go to Encoder. Click on Video Settings and change the frame rate to what you want it to become. I want it to become 2997. Remember, never worry about where it starts. Always concentrate on what you want it to become. And click OK. We just changed the frame rate. Then go to the Frame Controls tab. Turn it off, automatic. Turn it on, manual control. And you go down to rate conversion. There's four choices, fast, good, better, and best. Fast and good are what you would do inside Final Cut 7. It's fast, doesn't look that good. You want to select better. You could select best, and best would look better, but your compression time is measured in days, not in hours, and most of us don't have that much time. Better is generally the best choice. So we'll select better. Leave the rest of the settings alone. We want the duration to remain unchanged. We don't want to speed it up. We don't want to slow it down. We want the duration to be 100%. Rate conversion is set to better. Now when we click this, Okay, we're going to take a, a movie. There it is. It's taking our 2397 movie, and it's going to compress it. Now, you can time how long this takes. I'm doing exactly one second of video. And it's going to take about mm, 20 seconds to compress one second. So if you've got an hour, plan on having it take 20 hours to compress. That's just rough, but it just gives you something to think about. All right, so let's just hide this, Command-H. And let's go to our Compressed Files folder. And there's our movie. We're going to open this with QuickTime 7, because it works in QuickTime 10 as well. It's just the interface is easier to see. Now, have we taken a 24-frame movie and made it 30 frames? Let's find out. Frame 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Aha. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've added 2 frames in 10. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Let's see, I'm lost. That should be 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. There it is, 29, 9, 7 frames. We've at, what did we do, though? Look at these white lines. Okay, there I've got two lines. But how many lines do I have there? Three. I'm blending between the first frame and the second. Then I've got two lines. Then I've got three lines. You can see it real faintly right there. Then I've got two lines. And then I've got three lines. This is called, we're adding pull-down frames. We're going from 
two frames to three frames. It's a two, three, two, three pull down rate. We're adding artificial frames. We're blending an earlier frame with a later frame. We don't have any option. We can't we can't invent data out of whole cloth. We've got to take data from existing frames and stretch it. So we're adding additional frames. We're going from 24 to 30. We're inventing six frames every second. Well, let's go the opposite direction. This time, let's go from 29 down to 23. I'm going to delete these just because it's real easy to get confused. Go back to compressor. Delete that video. Command I. And this time, we'll bring in our 2997 movie. Again, apply any compression setting. I don't care about that. Look what's happening here. But if I use the arrow keys, see there's our two lines of interlacing. Okay, and we've got, what is it, 29? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, let's compress this. Again, go to the encoder tab, video settings. Change the frame rate to what you want it to be, 24 frames. Click OK. Then go to frame controls. Turn off automatic, turn on manual, set this to better, rate conversion to better, done, click submit. And again, it's going to take about 20 seconds to compress, convert a single second, and that's before we get into compression. It'll take a while. Let's see how long it's taking. Command H, there's our video, open that with QuickTime 7. And now this is a 2997 movie that should be running at 24. One, two, three, look at that. It's combining multiple frames. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We've already lost four frames. 21, two, three, four. But look at how many fields have been combined here. I got two different fields. It's going to make our motion blurrier. It's going to make it, I mean, we're inventing, we're, we're having to remove frames. Best way to shoot is to shoot the frame rate you want to distribute because doing frame rate conversions will always degrade the quality. If you need to stretch your training dollars, the subscription membership to our video training library can save you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Adobe and Apple software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on advanced compression tips inside Apple's Compressor 4. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.biz slash store. And look for Webinar 96.